Alright, I think for the most part that's enough of exploring the town. No, we can't do anything past those giant gates. Too bad. Alright, so I think we just need to go over here. Wait, did we talk to this book yet? Saves, total spent, wishes, statue lost. So that's our bank, pretty much. Alright, it's so over here. Okay, I guess we just need to do quest mode. I guess that is story mode. Chapter 1, On the Trail. Casual, intermediate, or hardcore. Casual is too easy, hardcore is probably too tough for my first time through, so... Intermediate. Friendly fire on, of course. It's not like I'm doing two players, so why not? Let the enemies kill themselves. Customers are angry, the three bears are desperate, and Goldilocks is suffering from porridge withdrawal. Someone has stolen the bear's magical porridge kettle, and they say only a hero can get it back. Am I that hero? Great, a hippie bear. And a pedo bear. Why is he watching her sleep? That's kind of creepy. Okay, I really need to stop pressing triangle. All that does is give my name. Okay, the mar magic porridge kettle belonging to the three bears has been stolen. Only a hero can get it back. So, on the hunt for a kettle. How to open these things? It says R. Oh, okay, kind of like that. Just move the R stick, the right stick. Grab some money. Okay, so now I know how to fight for the most part. Now I just need to find some weapons. I mean, we are puss in boots. Why don't we have some swords? Okay, we can attack with circle. So that's one of the drawbacks of renting from Gamefly. You don't get a manual. So it's not like you can read it and figure out what to do. Kill the bunny! And the first of bloodshed. Can we pick him up? No? Okay. I thought we could have carried him along with us. Oh no, there's a weapon. Okay, so R1 is picking up weapons. We are learning slowly. Lumber Bob. Not to be confused with Lumber Jack. And these lumberjacks are not okay. They don't sleep all night, and they don't work all day. I'm kind of wondering the difference between circle and the other attack. Well, I guess the circle just stuns them. As opposed to the right joystick, which just goes berserk. Okay, that's kind of cool. And we just got a Polk combo, apparently. Now, one thing I do want to learn is how to... Oh, look, okay, just like that, huh? You can surf in blood. And if you continue it long enough, you can get a trophy for it. I do need a sharper weapon than this carrot, though. That way I can chop him up in half. I 
wonder if I get any boost from sliding in the blood while I'm doing this. I mean, you would think with the extra velocity I would. I mean, they are using the Unreal Engine, so it's not unheard of. Kill him while he's down. Who cares about an unfair fight? Okay, there's our first checkpoint. I see a treasure chest. More money, and I believe that's health. And even more treasure chests. Give me a good weapon this time. No, I don't really need money that much right now. I mean, it's not like I'm buying anything yet. Oh, what's he have to say? Some of these gates can be open, run in the water wheel, water, water wheel to open the gate. Can't even say the damn word. So just run. Okay, that's not that bad. It's another Lumber Bob! No, it's Lumber Ben. He's actually got an axe. Crap. An axe versus a carrot. Who's gonna win? Let's try and take care of Lumber Ben before we take care of the Bobs. And let's get out in the open, too. That way we can actually see what's going on. It might help us out a little bit. Don't know about you. But I actually like to see the people I kill. Yes, we get an axe. So drop this thing. Someone's got an axe. There we go. Now we get to see the real kills of the game. Chopping people in half. Now the one thing I'm worried about is the durability of these weapons. Do they actually stay permanent or can they break? Ooh, I see another weapon. Too bad I can't really zoom in. Actually, that looks like a cutlass. Is that a cutlass? No, that's, uh... Not sharp at all. It looks like a hand bone. Screw the hand bone. And a hammer. Strong, but we don't need it. Let's stick with the axe. Okay, blocking attacks. Tired of being punching bag? Tired of being a punching bag? Then block the enemy's attacks by holding L2. Too bad I'm not going to do that. Because as my viewers have noticed, whenever I play a game, I am not much for blocking. Don't know why. Oh, that squirrel just sabotaged me. And people wonder why I hate those damn things. Other than the obvious fact that they always steal my nuts. Okay, what the hell are those creatures? Well, whatever they are, they're dead now. Should we kill Farmer John? Nah, we'll just kill his cattle. Why not? Okay, time to pick up a new weapon, whatever this thing is. It looks like a smaller axe. Oh well. It's fine. Oh, come on. Putting blood in a book. Okay, I know there's got to be a secret behind this waterfall. There's got to be. There always is. 
If I've learned one thing from Banjo Kazooie games, it's always check behind the waterfall. Chain moves. Attack first, or after first attack, quickly move the right stick in any direction, and you'll string your attacks together like beads on a necklace of pain. Good to know, despite the fact that I just lost my, uh... Okay, so apparently water is bad. Well, we are a cat, so it makes sense. Maybe I shouldn't have chosen Puss in Boots, after all. I'm kind of sad that there's no secret behind that waterfall, though. 